This is just a story about how I have dry skin. This whole video is a whole story about how I have super dry skin. Hello everyone, welcome to my channel, Bianca Skogan Beauty. So glad to have you guys here today. So today's video is an empties video. I do these every once in a while when my empties bin gets to be so full that I need to do a video <laughs> about it. And I have just discovered, and I'm sure everybody else already knows about this and I'm just late to the game, but if you go to your local Sephora, you can have, take these empties and have them recycled like better. Cause I've just been throwing these in, like since I've been doing this channel, I've been throwing them in my recycle bin. And I found out that that might work, but it might not. It might not recycle them because these containers have like, sometimes they have like special pumps and having it recycled at a special place for beauty empties is actually better than just your recycle bin. So that's what I'm gonna do with these. I'm going to take them to Sephora and I just saw, oh man, I'm just saying a bunch of things, but I just saw on my Sephora app, like there's like those beauty challenges. And if you take some items to, an, to a Sephora, you can fulfill one of the beauty challenges and get like a hundred Sephora points. Anyways, it sounds like I work for Sephora or I'm being sponsored by Sephora. That is untrue. <laughs> I just thought it was cool. Anyways, if you have any information about other places I could take these, because actually a Sephora is kind of like 45 minutes away from me. If you have more information about like a better place to take beauty empties, that'd be awesome. Put it in the comments. Just because I, I emptied it doesn't mean that I love it. I am one of those people who who will finish a book even though I hate it because I just can't not finish it. And I don't like to waste money. So I use things up even if I don't super like them because I spent money on them. So I will let you know in here what I super loved, what I didn't really like, what I'll repurchase, what I won't be repurchasing. A lot of them, I'm gonna tell you, I get from beauty boxes, from subscription boxes, and I just quit. Fat Fit Fun. I did. I finally quit. So a lot of these I probably got from Fat Fit Fun, and so I won't be getting them from Fat Fit Fun again. There's some makeup empties in here, which are harder to go through. So I'm gonna have those at the end, so stay till the end to see the makeup empties. You guys are probably wondering what's on my eyes right now, and it is the Blend Bunny Lure Palette. Okay, cool. I'll have that in my description box too. Okay, great. So we are going to start with the biggest category. It's always the biggest, biggest category because it's my hair. I have a ton of it. I have a lot of it. So I have a lot of hair products. Oh, there's even more back here. There's just, I have a lot of hair. Okay, cool. Um, I actually just recently, because I thought it would be fun for the summer, added some pink to it. Some pink and purple. Like it's a, from ColourPop. It's like their color depositing conditioners or masks. And I thought they were fun. So yeah, that's what that is. Anyways, it'll wash out, but I just thought it was fun. Okay, cool. So the biggest selection is the hair stuff because I have so much hair, which I love, but it, it's a lot. And I pamper my hair because I want to take care of it because I love it. So anyways, let's start with shampoo. Olaplex, purple shampoo, because I, use, I have, well, it's not as blonde as it usually is. The ends are blonde, but I kind of turned them pink and purple. Normally the ends are blonde. <laughs> and so I have my purple shampoo to keep my blonde blonde. Then I have a detox shampoo from Way to get rid of the dry shampoo or the products that when I'm doing my hair curly like this, uh, there's a lot of product buildup. Also from Briogeo, this is a scalp revival and I have psoriasis and my scalp is itchy a lot of the time. This is a scalp revival charcoal and coconut oil micro exfoliating shampoo. Holy cow. Let's try that again. Scalp revival charcoal and coconut oil micro exfoliating shampoo. Maybe that was better. Would I repurchase any of those? Yes. I have repurchased this. This is like my third bottle of this. I love detox shampoo. I love the way one because it smells delicious. I have multiple of, in my drawer right now, I have many of these because I got them on sale. These Olaplex number four, I think they're $30 and I got them for like 15 on FabFitFun. And so I actually stocked up and got a couple more before I quit FabFitFun. So I've got quite a few of these. I just love it. I think it's a really nice, deep purple shampoo and so I feel like it it leaves a little bit of purple behind which is actually as you can tell what I prefer it might be too much if you don't want it to leave a purple cast 
but I kind of like that, like a purple gray cast. I like that. I like the color. It's, it helps me to not cut my hair. I have been known to get bored and cut my hair, and so I don't want to do that, so I just add color. And I would prefer adding color than cutting it all off. Then this one from Briogeo, this actually wasn't that great. It was okay, but I remember this being pricey, and I didn't think it did that all that much. So I don't think I would repurchase this. I have and will keep repurchasing these two. Yay! Okay, let's go on to conditioner. You will see that there's kind of some brands that I stick with, so... Yeah, um, Olaplex, Olaplex number five conditioner. I love this conditioner. I feel like I don't have to use as much of this conditioner because it's thick and it works really well. Whereas other conditioners, because I have so thick and long hair, I have to like squeeze, squeeze, squeeze and get tons of conditioner on my palm. This one I don't have to use as much and it, it just goes further. Um, and then I have another, I think I got these two in a pack like during Christmas time. I think I got them in a set. Yes, I think so. So. This is Briogeo Don't Despair Repair Deep Conditioning Mask. I did like this. I did. Um, would I repurchase it? Probably, actually. Um, I, I did like it. I do have in my in the wings, in my like collection, I have some conditioner masks already. So I don't think I will repurchase it anytime soon because I want to use up what I have. But it was good. I liked it. And I will obviously be repurchasing the Olaplex number 5 because... Um, I love it. I have two. And in fact, those are not my only two. In other empties videos, you have seen Olaplex number five because I go through it. I like it. Keeping on conditioner. Conditioner sprays. Leave-in conditioners. So this is from Way. This is my favorite leave-in conditioner of all time. I feel like it is one of the only ones that can get through my tangles. And it smells so good. And it's purple because I have little drops that are add-in drops that you can, like, tone your leave-in conditioner or your shampoo or your conditioner, whatever you want to tone. So I, I toned this. This isn't, normally it's just white, but I turned it purple. Anyways, this is the mega size, which I think was super expensive. <laughs> it's been a while since I purchased it, but it was pricey. Anyways, I will repurchase this, and I have repurchased it, and I think this is another one that I actually got some, <sighs> should I have canceled that bit fun? Uh, because I think I got some of these for half off on FabFitFun. Like I've got some in the wings because I love this. I love this so much. If you know of a better, like my, I turned my sister onto this one and she was like, I love it. And then she just started using the Moroccan oil one and she likes it better. So what is your favorite leave-in conditioner? Because I'm willing to, to explore because I do really like this one, but it's pricey and I do feel like it gets through my tangles, but I also feel like it uses up really quickly. Like the amount that I use, it's like all of a sudden halfway through and it's been a month and I'm like, oh my gosh, that was so quick. So that's one of the downsides. I feel like it, it uses a lot more than I would think that it would, but it goes, it, it gets through this mass. So that's nice. Then I just have a little one. This is from BB Hairdressers. Bum, oh, it's Bumble and Bumble, BB. Nah. I probably got this and a subscription box. I like to go through samples too, and, and big sizes. I did like that this, if you can see, it is also a UV protection, and that's, this one is not. And that is one thing that I could make this better. If it actually, two things that could make it better. If it didn't go away so quickly, and if it had a UV protectant, for, you know, a heat protectant. Uh, so I did like that this had a heat protectant in it, but I felt like it also, the actual point of it, the the, conditioning getting through my hair wasn't as good so I need both I need a really good conditioner but also protect from the heat I don't always put heat on my hair this I didn't put heat on this is just my curls I I mean I guess it was a little heat from the blow dryer but like I scrunched it it's it's nothing like when I do use a straight iron anyways when I am using heat I would like heat protection and it would be nice to have it all in one and not to have to put on heat protection. And, you know, just so many layers and so much product in my hair. Next, I have some curl products because, as you can see, every once in a while I do my hair curly. And I have this from Pattern. I got this from Sephora. And it is a gel. And it's okay. It was a, a pricey product. And I felt like maybe... Okay, so the thing about curly hair stuff is that 
everybody's curly hair is different. There's people, like, they have a classification system, like, with, like, 1S to 2S to 3S. I think it's an S. And then, like, all the way up to, like, really coily, coily curls. And so I don't, I think maybe this was not meant for my wavy hair because I didn't love it as much as I wanted to. And it was pricey, and it just, I don't think it was, it held, it was strong enough of a hold. It, it just kind of let my hair be frizzy. Like, I need more of a stronghold or else it'll go frizzy. So anyways, and am I an, an expert with curly hair? No, I'm not. So I just, it wasn't my favorite. And I don't think it's anything wrong with the product. I think it was more, it wasn't for my curl type. This is from Mark Anthony, uh, Strictly Curls. I have no idea when my family came. I think that we bought this for my daughter because my daughter has curly hair too. And then she never used it and I was just like, fine, I'll use it. And it's a curl defining lotion. I just used it to get rid of it. This is one of those products where I was like, let's, let's use it and get rid of it. We bought it. I never really knew when to use this. It's not a gel. It's, it's a lotion. You know, I read the instructions. It says apply to the palm of your hands, rub together and work evenly through hair using your fingertips. Is this before gel? Does this take the place of gel? Does this take the place of mousse? Is this, I just never felt like it was strong enough for what I needed for it to even keep a curl for me. I didn't like it. I think we got it at Walmart. It wasn't, it wasn't my cup of tea, so I won't be repurchasing. The brand that I do love for my curls is, cur my hair is everywhere, is Curlsmith. And it's just, I found that through, you know, this process of doing my hair curly, I have found some brands that work for my curls better than other. And I feel like for me personally, Curlsmith is the brand that I like. And they have different levels. Like I feel like they have like the purple and then they have an orange, an orange. And I like, I personally like the orange. I feel like the orange is, is the color that is best for my kind of wavy curly hair. And this is a curl quenching conditioning wash because you're not supposed to use really harsh shampoos when you do have curly hair. You're, and so this is a conditioning wash. So it's like a both a conditioner, shampoo in one. Anyways, I liked it. It was awesome. And I will, and I think I already have her purchase this because I think it was a 50% off at some point from Ulta. So yes, I have already repurchased this. When I find Curlsmith, the orange color, on sale because it'll be on sale at Ulta quite a bit um because it's a pricey brand but when it's half off I'm like yes yes thank you <laughs> so I have used this whole thing up and I have already repurchased the purple one um this is a multitasking conditioner I thought it was good I know each color stands for something I just don't remember what I think that the orange one is more for like wavy hair and the other colors are for other things it doesn't say it here which is fun this was good would I repurchase it probably if it were on sale at Ulta because that's what I do I liked it I like having a you know conditioner that's meant for curly hair I think that is it for curly hair stuff okay now we have some kind of miscellaneous just random hair stuff I have a dry shampoo I don't use dry shampoo very often uh, ever since I was on Accutane a couple of years back I my hair is not greasy anymore. I like it changed my chemistry, which is a little creepy and scary, but there it is what it is. So I used to have greasy hair. I, I used to, okay, when I was in like junior high and high school, I used to have to wash my hair every single day. I'm 38 now, so it's been a long time. And I, rem I had kind of trying to train my hair since then where I would extend the wash time uh, from then. And I was... I, so it wasn't just Accutane that, that made it so my hair wasn't as greasy. It was me. I was training my hair to be able to go longer between washes, but then having Accutane that, that made it turn the corner where it's like, instead of it being like, I trained it from greasy to normal. Now it's from normal to dry. <laughs> so it's interesting. So I don't use, I don't have to use dry shampoo as often because my hair is dry, but if I go a particularly long time between cleansing my hair, I will need dry shampoo. Isn't that fun? You're welcome. So anyways, this is not your mother's clean freak, refreshing dry shampoo. I have heard that 
there's been some like dry shampoos that have been recalled because they have something in them, which I can't remember. I think it's the ones that are kind of the spray, but anyways, I use, I use dry shampoo so infrequently that I feel like it's not going to give me cancer. Is that, is that a bad attitude about it? Anyways, um, then we have from Olaplex again. Actually, I have two things from Olaplex. This is the number three. I'm dropping things. The number three, this is a, like, it's like a leave-in conditioner kind of. It strengthens your hair, and but you're supposed to use it before shampoo, which I actually prefer. And so I love this stuff. I will repurchase this forever. I love it. It's great. Uh, anyways, then we have this number zero, which I hate. I hate this with a fiery passion of a million suns because, so the very first time I bought this, they had it in a dropper system and that was a really poor delivery system because it was so hard to get it all over my hair because it was supposed to saturate your hair, but it was on this tiny, tiny little dropper. And I was like, this is ridiculous. So then I noticed that they started selling it with the sprayer. So then I took my bottle and I took a sprayer from a different bottle that was empty and I switched it up and put the sprayer on. And I was like, sweet, look at me being resourceful. And I started spraying it and I would breathe it in because you're spraying it and you're breathing and my asthma would act up like crazy and I couldn't breathe. And I am asthmatic, but it's something that is not, like, I don't have asthma attacks all the time anymore. I did more when I was younger. It's something that I, I kind of, I have under control now as an adult. It would really flare up my asthma. And I was like, okay, okay, okay. This is probably my fault. I, I put the spray mechanism on there and they probably, when they put the spray bottle on there they probably reformulated it so that it's okay now to spray no 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 apparently not because now the spray mechanism on is on there and it's still I can't breathe when I do this so so I would I would take a big breath spray 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 hold my breath and then breathe I feel like I'm making some big um accusations here <laughs> I don't know if this is just me and it was just my asthma because, you know, we're all different and we all have different genes and bodies and whatnot. And so it, it acted up with me, but it did. It, I, I will never purchase this again because when something interferes with my breathing, I will never purchase it again. Does it interfere with other people's breathing? Let me know. Does it inter Have you used it and had problems breathing? Because I did. Um, I, I don't know. I don't, I don't think... They, I feel like if everybody had that problem, they couldn't sell it. So I think it's just me, but it's me. <laughs> so I'm not going to buy it anymore. This is a little sample size of the Living Proof Styling Cream. Now I was like, I should have put it in my curly stuff, but no, I use it any. You can use the styling cream before, you know, when you're doing your hair curly, or you can use it while you're doing your hair straight. So, because it just says, apply generously to clean, damp hair, removes to ends. It's one of the million products I put in my hair. So then... I was talking about earlier that I wanted my leave-in conditioner to have a heat protectant because the way one doesn't, well, here's my heat protectant or here's one that I have. I have other ones, but this was, um, a Chi, uh, 44 iron guard. It is a thermal protection spray and I'm up done with it. So this I got, it's been a long time, but around Christmas time, like three years ago, they at Walmart, they were selling these cute, it was like kind of like the Sephora favorite sets, but they were selling them at Walmart and they had like a hair set where they had like little samples of, of favorite hair stuff and they had like a makeup one. Do you guys remember that? That was awesome. I loved it. And I got this in there. So it has it taken me a while to get through it. Yeah, but I got through it. <laughs> I'm done with hair stuff. It is my biggest category. Let's go to the next category. Okay, the next category is like bath and body. This one is a very easy one for me to go through. It is the Dr. Teal's Foaming Bath with pure Epsom salt. It has melatonin and essential oils. I love this stuff. I love, I love to take baths. Baths equal relaxation. <laughs> so I take a bath about once a week and I usually have the Dr. Teal's of this foaming bath stuff. I have the actual rocks. I have all of put a bath bomb in there. Not all of that at once, but I mix it up and I have lots of fun stuff to make my bath relaxing. And then I read a book and I chill out and I love my baths. So, and I love lavender. Lavender is one of my favorite smells. So this, I love this stuff. Will I repurchase it? Yes. Yes, I will forever. Another thing that I use in the bath and the shower is this is from Lush. 
This is the Sleepy. I have destroyed this bottle because I wanted to get every last drop out. I love this scent. This Sleepy scent, it smells like lavender and sugar and like sugared lavender. It is mm, so good. And I just, I just, I will repurchase this also. I really, really love this scent. And so it's a shower gel and I use it all up and I don't know if I have more in the wings, but I'll get some for my birthday, which is in August. I don't know. Who knows? Okay. Then a, more, more of the sleepy. This is the lotion. And I just want to show you how I like scraped as, mm, I got the smell. I scraped as much of this as I could. This, oh, I love this stuff. So using this and then this, it's like, I'm going to have a good night's sleep. Anyways, I just, it smells so good. This is my favorite scent from Lush. This is a completely smooth, moisturizing, no bump shave gel. Enough said. Let's see, shave gel. I got this from Ulta and would I say, I, I feel like I wanted it because I wanted something that could help. Like the review said that this helped with ingrown hairs. I still got ingrown hairs. Did I get less ingrown hairs because of using this? Potentially. I mean, I may have gotten more when I, if I wouldn't have used it, but I still got ingrown hairs using this. If you have a really good way of not getting ingrown hairs, please let me know. I have like tried everything. This is the, from First Aid Beauty, this is the KP Bump Eraser Body Scrub with 10% AJ. I have KP Keratosis Polaris, and it's like the little bumps that are on the back of your arms, or I even have it like on the top of my arm. And I've had this my entire life, Keratosis Polaris. It's something that I've dealt with, and this helps. It helps, it's just that it has like a, a, a a physical exfoliant in it, but it also has that 10% AHA, which is a chemical exfoliant. And so it just helps to, there is no cure for KP. There's no cure. They're out trying to cure cancer, which I agree with. <laughs> but anyways, there's no cure for it, but they can help with the symptoms. And this just helps the bumps. You know, it kind of helps tone them down a little bit. So it doesn't cure it, but it helps. Anything helps. Like there's also no cure for psoriasis, which I also have. One day I'd really like your cure for psoriasis, but I'm sure there's somebody out there working on it. Anyways, another thing. These are things that once I get out of the shower, I use. So we have another thing from First Aid Beauty. I really like First Aid Beauty. I feel like they have, like it's not prescription strength or anything, but it's really good. Like their lotion, this is a ultra repair cream, is really, really moisturizing. When I was on Accutane, this was the stuff. I, I went through a lot of different lotions and I was like, that it, nothing is enough. Accutane just dries you out like a desert. And, and First Aid Beauty, their, their ultra repair cream was what I invested in when I had, when I was going through Accutane. And so I still use it. Utah has very, very dry winters. We have dry summers. We are actually, we are drier than Arizona, which I grew up in Arizona. So I'm, I, I learned that when I went to school here that we are drier than Arizona and I was like, what? We are, we're the high desert. Anyways, it's extremely dry here and so it's very good to have good lotions. So another thing is this. This is from Necessaire. This is a body serum. I have already repurchased this. The last Sephora VIB sale, I purchased another one of these and it was a pretty penny. It was pricey because I got this one from FabFitFun. I actually kind of got this one uh, on a whim. This was one of the choices in FabFitFun had this in it. And I I think it was like choice five or six. And I was not interested in basically any of the choices. And I was like, fine, <laughs> I'll just pick something. And I was like, well, I have serums for my face, but I don't have a body serum. So why not? Let's get a body serum. Oops, because now I'm addicted. Dang it. <laughs> I actually talk about that during those videos is that when something's really expensive, it'll boost the value of the box. But if you ever want to repurchase, now you have to spend like $44 or however much this was to repurchase. And I, it doesn't happen to be a lot because I, I end up getting a lot of things in those boxes, but I've never gotten another body serum again. And I love this one. It's so good. And as I said, the winters are dry here. The summers are dry here. I also have hard water, which is also drying on your skin. So having a body serum on top of my lotions is a necessity for me. Necessary necessity. Anyways, I already repurchased it. Um, would I repurchase this? No, I didn't. 
I didn't think that it did it what it was supposed to do. Uh, would I repurchase this? Yes, I have and I will and I have already repurchased it. Would I repurchase this? Yes, I have and I, I have already. So the next category is kind of like skincare for the face. Because I've already done kind of skincare, uh, like that necessary with skincare. But this is more like face skincare. Facial care? Okay, anyways, so I have these two right here. This is from De, De Alba. My husband bought this for me for Valentine's Day. It's June, the beginning of June. I have used this entire thing. He got this for me for Valentine's Day and I've already used it up. So I'm not sure 100% if that means that this goes by quickly or I just super loved it because I super loved it. It's a serum spray and it's similar to this. This is from Caudalie and they both, I feel like, okay, this is just a story about how I have dry skin. This whole video is a whole story about how I have super dry skin because both of these I used up really quickly and I think it's because I just have really dry skin. This is a beauty elixir from Caudalie. I had never gotten this before, but people were raving about it. So during one of the 21 days of, 21 days? During one of the Sephora 20% off sales, I purchased this. I think it came in, it did. Oh my gosh, guys. It came in a little bundle. This little bundle right here. And so, it was like the full price of this was the price. It was this, the price of this was the price of the bundle. So it was like getting this for free. I was watching other people's videos during the sale and they were talking about if you buy anything during the sale, buy this Caudalie magic elixir or beauty elixir. And I was like, okay, I've never got it before. Great. And it is nice. I do like it. Would I repurchase it? No, because uh, it just went too quickly. It, it's like the, the way that it just, but the way is so good that I keep getting it. This one, like, I swear I would use two sprays and it'd be like, boom, all the way down here. And I was like, oh my gosh, what? <laughs> Why is it already gone? So it was nice. It had this like minty fresh feeling and it says to use it like out of, after you get out of the shower, you get out of the shower and you use it and it, it's kind of like a toner. And I, that's kind of what this one is too. Oh no, this one's more like a serum. Anyways. They both I kind of used when I got out of the shower to just kind of help my, my body absorb, my face absorb moisture. They both just used up so quickly. Two reasons, probably, I, I think one of them is their fault that it just goes by so quickly, but the other one is because I probably overindulge. I have dry skin. Anyways, so I will not repurchase this. It just went by too quickly. It was nice, but it wasn't like, I felt like the price was overinflated. It might be because it's like a glass bottle. It's it's the luxury of the experience. Whereas I feel like these were similar prices. My husband got this on Amazon and this one has way more in it. So would I repurchase this? Yes. This one was a, so you can't see it now because it's all gone, but it was, it was like water and oil. You had to shake it up to get it to mix. And in, in that, shaking up it was a very very like moisturizing it had a lot of it had a double layer serum enriched with white truffle from italy anyways i liked it i thought it was good i heard heard another influencer on youtube talk about it and uh, about this i think she had gotten sponsored by them and i was like oh it sounds sounds amazing and it wasn't that expensive so i put it on a wish list on amazon and then my husband for valentine's day was going through my amazon wish list and was like that looks great <laughs> Anyways, it, it ended up with me and I liked it. So yes, repurchase. No, won't repurchase. No, no to the Caudalie. Yes to the De Alba. And this little Caudalie mask, it was fine. It's a mask instant detox. Was there enough of it in here for me to really get a good sense of how great it was? No, there was probably only like three applications. So it's, it's hard to tell if a mask is really doing anything if you only use three applications of it. But I... It was, it was okay. It was not amazing. Another spray. Oh. Bianca has dry skin. This is the Tower 28 SOS spray. This is my second bottle of this. And you can tell because it's the old one. I, I've already used an old one and it's like the old packaging. Uh, I think I do have one in my wing in the, in my Alex Nine drawer that is the new packaging. But of course I'm going to go through the old packaging first. I think I have another one that is still the old packaging because I got these on BoxyCharm. When BoxyCharm was still a thing, they had them for like eight bucks or something like that. So I got like three of them. I mean, come on. 
are awesome. They're just this like hypochlorous acid and water. So they're not like this really crazy, tons of ingredients, complicated thing. It's but they're supposed to be really good for sensitive skin. And I find that I do have very sensitive skin. And what I use this most for is when I wake up in the morning and I'm like dragging out of bed and I'm like, Ugh. I just spray this on and I'm like, oh, well, hello, good morning, everyone. <laughs> like it helps wake me up and, and it's good for your skin. So it's a good pick me up, but it also can be used as more than that. What a, another thing that I like about it is that it is multifunctional. It can be used as a setting spray. It can be used as what I just said, kind of a primer, kind of a wake yourself up in the morning. It has multifunctionality and that's really nice. They call it a daily rescue facial spray. Use AM and PM on freshly cleansed skin. Let dry before moisturizer. So it's, I feel like it's more of a pre makeup kind of thing which is how I use it, so great. This is a makeup remover. I don't use makeup remover a ton. Like, I feel like I use it a lot in like, when I was younger, uh, because I didn't know about double cleansing. <laughs> but now I don't use this as often because I do a double cleanse, like I do an oil-based cleanser, and then I do just like a soap-based cleanser after that. And so that usually takes off all of my makeup, so I don't need this. I would say the most of the time that I use this kind of stuff, this is from Lancome. Let me tell you what it is first. Meh. This is from Lancome. It is a Bi Facile Double Action Eye Makeup Remover. And I I do like this stuff, but I would say the times that I use this is, I, I actually have something like it. What am I using right now? It is from Laura Mercier. But they're kind of the same thing. They both have this double, what did it say? It's a double action. So it had the same thing where it had a layer, like this one has a layer and you have to mix it around to get the double action. Anyways, so I think I got this one during an Ulta 21 Days of Beauty, so it was less expensive. And this, I think I got in a beauty box because that's what I do. Anyways, the times that I use this, it took me a long time to use this up because the times that I use this is actually today. I used this today because I did this, this eye look for a video that I filmed before this, which will probably not be up yet. It'll probably be the next video up. Anyways, my eye looks don't always turn out perfect how I exactly want them. And a lot of the time I'll continue and keep trying to make it work, but today it just did not work. And so I took a cotton pad and I took off just the eye look. I wasn't taking off all my makeup. I was just taking off the eye look. And so that's what I did. I took off the eye look and I started over. Or when I'm doing videos where I do a lot of swatches, I ha I will use this to get off the swatches. So do I use this a ton? No. It does have a place in my routine because I actually do a lot of swatches. I have swatches on right now. It's, it's just, I always have swatches on. But like, when I'll, like specifically like lipstick swatches, those are hard to get off. You need, you'll, you need this, okay? So would I repurchase this? Yes and no. If Ulta had it in another, I, they don't call it 21 days of beauty sale. It's now like their semi-annual sale. If they had it in another semi-annual sale, yes, because it would be half off. If it were full price, no, because I just don't use it that often. I feel like they have um, like micellar water at Walmart that is just as good. And they do the same thing. But this was on sale. This is a Tula. It's a 24-7 moisture intense hydrating day and night cream. I don't remember. I think, I think this was a birthday gift. I think I got a birthday gift from Tula. And so it was from Sephora and it was a whole bunch of like mini sizes of Tula products. And I just went through it. I don't care if it's a mini size or a full size. I feel like showing that I went through the product is still a little, you know, cause for applause. It's a little tiny, like, good job, you went through that. So I feel like even though they're just little sizes, it is still sometimes hard to go through little sizes. So is it weird that I still have little sizes in here? Maybe, but I like to celebrate little wins. So that's why I have the little sizes in here. Okay, now here are two things that are little, but pack a mighty punch. Okay, I never told you if I'd repurchase this. Yeah, I love Tula. Tula is a, an amazing skincare brand. Okay, let's talk about this one first. Wait, milk. This was my last milk melatonin lip mask. I had like three of these in the wings, and I've now used them all up, and they do not sell this anymore. I heard that there was a problem with like the manufacturing of it, and, and I think that the, the mixing was... I don't know exactly what happened, but milk 
stopped making these. And this is the best lip mask I have ever had. It's it because, specifically because I put it on at night and I wake up and my lips are still moisturized. Again, Bianca, this is the whole story today, is that my I have dry skin. So I would go to bed and I wake up with any other lip mask, the Laneige lip mask, the Tatcha lip mask, just lip masks that you get at Walmart. Any, I've tried so many lip masks to try to duplicate the results of this one. None of them are the same. I go to bed, I put it on right before I go to bed, I wake up and my lips are dry. Again, I have extremely dry skin apparently, and Utah's dry, but this was the only one where I would wake up and my lips were still moisturized. I do, you cannot purchase this anymore. For a hot second there, you could purchase it at the Kohl's at Sephora, but I, it was really, it's like a $26 lip mask, and even though it's my favorite, I didn't get it. Anyways, and now it's gone, and I'm like, why didn't you do it? Anyways. Okay, so it's gone, it's gone. So if you know of a lip mask that is as good as this, that you wake up and you have dry skin and you wake up and your lips are still moisturized, let me know. And it's not Laneige, cause I've already tried that one. Or the Tatcha, I've already tried that one. I've tried a lot of them. Anyways, I mean the Laneige is good. It's just, it's not as good as what I'm saying. I, I wake up, my lips are still dry. When I go to bed, it's amazing. It's like, oh, moisture. But I wanna wake up with moisturized lips. Okay, next thing. <sighs> I always talk about this. I always, I almost always have one of these in my empties videos. And I'm such a weirdo for having this in my empties video. Should I have this in my empties video? No, but I want to share the, the, the good news of AYR gel or AIR. I don't know how people pronounce it. I say AYR because I feel if I say, I'm gonna go get my AIR gel, people will be like, what? Anyways, it doesn't matter. I got my deviated septum fix when I was 16. You can tell that my nose is still crooked because they fixed the inside of my nose. They fixed my septum inside. They didn't fix the outside because that would have been, I don't know, I was 16, my parents were paying for it and my parents weren't gonna pay for cosmetic surgery for me and you know what? It's a quirk that I have and I have a crooked nose and I like it. So, but when I was 16, I couldn't breathe out of, I think it was this nostril because of my deviated septum. So I needed it fixed because I couldn't breathe. Anyways. That surgery was pretty rough. I remember not really being able to breathe still and my ENT recommended this stuff, this air gel. It was like $3 at the time. Again, this was when I was 16, I'm 38 now, so a long time ago. But I have been purchasing this since I was 16 years old because it makes you feel like a new person <laughs> when your nose is dry. Oh my gosh, everything is about how dry I am. Okay, cool, when your nose is dry, you put a little droplet, drop, you could probably put it on a Q-tip, but I put it on my pinky because it's just more convenient and I put it on my nose, move it around so it's not a sprayer. Like, you know, there's there's saline sprayers. It's not that, it's a, it's a gel. And I swear I feel like a new person. It's like I went from not being able to breathe to being able to breathe out of my nostrils. This stuff, I also can't find it at Walmart anymore. So I purchased this at on Amazon, it's like three to four dollars. Sometimes you can get like a three pack or something for like 10 bucks or something. I will purchase this until the day I die, unless they stop making it. I love this. <laughs> and every time I talk about it on this channel, I'm like, why are you talking about nasal saline gel? Because I want you to know about it. Because it's really cheap and it's really amazing. And you know what? Get it, just get it. Out of all of this stuff, this, <laughs> the nasal gel. I'm weird. Let's move on to the makeup. What makeup have I used up? We will start with where I start with makeup, primers. Okay, so this one took a really long time for me to use up. It is the Ola Henderson uh, Banana Bright Face Primer. I got this, I think, in like a boxy charm, And I used it because uh, that's what I do. I use things up. It was good. It ended up starting off smelling like banana and ending off smelling like oranges, um, which I thought was weird, but it didn't smell bad. And so if it smelled bad, I would have thrown it away. Anyways, it was great. It has vitamin C and banana, and I thought it was a great primer. It worked well. Then I had this one from Rare Beauty. This is a mini size, and this is the pore diffusing primer. And this actually took longer than I expected to use up as well, but used it up. It was good. I feel like pore diffusing is better for probably 
oily skin. And I don't think I knew that when I bought this. So I wouldn't, I don't think I would buy the pore diffusing again. I think there's another one for dry skin. So I think I would, if I were to repurchase, I would get the dry skin one. The next thing I usually do is my foundation. So I like to um, change out my beauty blenders. And in order to remember to do that, I need to put it in this video to be like, Bianca, change out your beauty blender. Because I think you're going to change it out every six months, three months. I don't know. Do I wash it? Yes. Yes. I wash this every month. Um, is it washed now? No, because why was I going to wash it before I threw it away? That's silly. So I do wash it every time I clean my brushes, which is like every month. So it did get washed, but you still, there's, there's inside. Inside can get, you know, bacteria that you can't reach while washing it. So it was time. It was time for me to get rid of it. Did I use it up? Technically, no. But you're supposed to replace it because they get yucky. So that is why this is in here because I needed to replace it. Along with these. These are mascaras. Did I technically use these up? Not really. But you are supposed to replace your mascara every three months. And I have to put them in these videos or I will keep using them until... I do use it up and that's bad because this goes on your eyes and your eyes are sensitive Bianca so this is from Mac this is the Mac magic extensions I got this in an FC I love this mascara this was I it surprised me like I was not expecting this mascara I was just like oh Mac mascara cool great I love Mac I love mascara okay great this was really good to mascara I would repurchase this, except for the fact that I don't need more mascara. I have, I swear, every, <laughs> I have so many mascaras because all of my subscription boxes give me tons of mascaras, and I have a tendency to not throw them away every three months, even though I should. I don't need more mascara. I have a lot of them right now that I need to use. Um, also, then this one is from It's Belle Cosmetics. Uh, they, I don't even think they're selling mascaras right now. They went through a time of selling mascaras, and this one is purple this one is dry I never liked this one I think they stopped selling because they didn't do very well like the wand is terrible the color's amazing but the wand is terrible so I actually took another wand from like a burgundy mascara and I was like trying to <sighs> the wand the wand was terrible it just wasn't a very good formula look <laughs> it's old anyways this one needed to go. Uh, it, it, I would not repurchase this even if It's Belle was doing more mascaras. I love, don't get me wrong, I love It's Belle Cosmetics, but mascaras, they need to go back to the drawing board, which is probably why they're not selling them anymore because they are probably going back to the drawing board with them. Anyways, is a eyeshadow primer. Okay, I have used this so much that the, I don't know, the design on, the, on it came off. This is from, this is terrible because I don't remember what this is called. It was written on here. I got it in a beauty box and it's a pretty good primer. Would I repurchase it? No, because I have a lot of primers in the wings. Again, subscription boxes. Uh, I did like that it had this doe foot and that the doe foot went pretty close to the bottom. Like I had a Rare Beauty one that was my last one that I went through and the doe foot didn't go all the way to the bottom. So there was a lot that I felt like was left over. Again, this one is black and so you can't see through it. Whereas the Rare Beauty one, you kind of could. Anyways, I liked it. I wouldn't repurchase it because I didn't feel like it was the best. Uh, did it keep my eyeshadow on? Yeah, so it did its job. But I, I have had better eyeshadow primers in the past. Uh, like the Urban Decay. Uh, primer potion is really 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 good also I can't tell you I would repurchase it because I wouldn't know how because I forget what the brand is the last thing in my makeup routine is the setting spray so here we go this is from milk makeup do they even make this setting spray anymore no so it was a good thing that I went through it part of me I'll go through like the products I got last and I'm like I should probably be going through the products I got first and just throwing away the ones I got last, whatever, it's fine. So this is, I think it's like a, a blur, ah, a blur spray. Anyways, it was really good. I actually really liked it, <laughs> but I, Milk Makeup does make a setting spray, quite a few of them. They don't make this one anymore, so you can't buy it. Would I repurchase it? No, cause you can't, but um, 
It's a good, it's a good setting spray. I'm, and I've heard that the Milk Makeup setting spray now, setting sprays now are still very good. Anyways, I am done. I am done. That is all that I have. I'm going to take this to a Sephora next time I'm in town and I'm going to recycle all of this at a Sephora unless one of you guys tells me of a better way. I'm gonna get rid of all this product and recycle it at one of the Sephora product, beauty product recycling program and get 100 points from it. Not sponsored. All right, well, that's the end of the video. If you like this video, like this video. If you wanna see more from me, subscribe to my channel. And if you want to be notified of my videos, push the bell. And most importantly, be nice to yourself because you're amazing. Have a great day.